All right, so this is the frame that you get with the uh, Wargame Illustrated uh, 439. And with this long-awaited sprue, I finally get to uh, build some epic battles. Hail Caesar, the sprue you have here, or the frame you have here, is the um, Roman frame. And the reason I chose to uh, feature the Roman frame is because of uh, this new bit of advancement. Uh, when, it, when it comes to uh, infantry blocks, um, you get three, one, two, three blocks of infantry. Um, you get five skirmishers, you get uh, four uh, equites, is that what they call them? Uh, one Roman um, commander. So um, let's have a look at the detail that we're going to get. Hopefully you can, able, you, can, you can see the detail. In the figures, uh, first off, I think these are the Hestati, are they, are they called the Hestati? And uh, as you can see over here, they are uh, they're not armored, right? So that's the back row, and that's the middle row, and that's the front row. A little bit of cleanup, perhaps, to do, but as you can see, it's very, very nice. Um, in terms of detail. You can actually see some work has gone into there. So if you're doing skin tones and just washing, you probably get away with just um, you know, doing that. Get your figures done. So these are the Kestati. and then you got the uh, Principes. Principes? Is that what you call them? Principes. And these ones are you know the armored a little bit, and they look like Kestati. but with the plumes and stuff like that. But the armored over here. Strange though, I wonder why they went with gold. I mean, I would have been happy if they went with like um, you know, red as the plastic to go with. And then finally, you got the triari, and as you can see, the helmets, triari helmets. Even like this, they look quite nice. Actually, if you were to just you know give them a spray spray color, they look nice. In fact, even if you didn't, if you didn't um. Paint them, they will look nice on the table. So how how it works is there's the front bit and then there's the back bit and then there's the center bit. So you put the uh, back bit, center bit together, and it comes to a block of three. I'll probably do one and show you in a bit. But let's just review the uh the the frame a little bit more. These are the skirmishers. I don't even see how good the detail is. It looks quite nice. Very very dynamic poses. And then you've got the Equitas Cavalry. Very nice. And then we have the uh, Roman uh, Commander. So with this, you pretty much get one, two, three blocks of infantry. Uh, you get another base um, of cavalry and one base of skirmishers. It's, it will probably be a smaller, smallest looking force. So what's going to happen in this video is I'm going to assemble um, one block and show you what the block looks like, perhaps. And then I'll probably get to painting this. Now, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to spend too much time on, on this figure simply because I want to be painting a whole army of these. And I want to keep the, uh, the, the uh, scheme simple. Um, there has been talk about using decals for the different different shields but i'm gonna i'm gonna not do that simply because the amount of decals that's needed is, is, is astounding and um i'm just gonna keep it simple i'm just gonna go, go for the overall look um so the idea is to paint this quick hopefully this will be done in a few hours maybe depending again i'm going to use every like uh, trick uh, speed trick i know to get this done the next time you see this, you probably see the uh, infantry block, and then slowly I'll get figures down one at a time. So that's pretty much it. That's the uh, that's this that's the frame, the, the free frame that you get with uh, uh, War Games Illustrated four three nine. Um, this is also the frame you probably get with your division boxes or your starter boxes. Um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so what I did was uh, I gave it a nice um, 
based off uh, black. I'm not so sure why, but I feel I felt like this was the um, best way to go about this. We learn from trial and error, I guess. Oh, very good. That bit over there. But um, I want what I plan to do is perhaps do a nice, you know, smooth black, and then maybe pull it out again with a little bit of white. But um, yeah, better get this right properly first. <laughs> yeah. So the first step for me is uh, uh, black. Um, base so right after the uh, black base i went with a, a little bit of a dusting it's really a dusting not so sure but it's got nice tones in it this will make it easier for me to like uh, paint it later so right so that's the prep for the for the for the frame now it's uh Time to put a little bit of paint, maybe assemble. Right, so before I start painting the uh, the project, I just want to say that uh, usually when I start a project, I, I mentally prepare what I want to do with the, uh, the painting. And in this video, I think I'm pretty sure that I want to keep things standardized. If you're painting a huge army, you want a painting process that's easily dupli duplicatable and what that basically means is something that you can keep repeating uh, um, with minimal amount of effort. So what I'm going to do with uh, painting the Romans is to keep everything standard. As you probably know, if, if you've actually followed my channel for any amount of time, you probably know that I, I really like it when anything, everything's uniform. So all the shields will probably be of the same color, tone, color uh, but i'll probably play with tones that, that if there's anything at all i'll play with it's probably the tones um and the horses i'll probably keep the horses at the same color as well in most other armies i'll probably do a variation of some lighter brown horses some darker horses some black horses but i realized that if i want to get this army on the table to play before 2020 before 2030 i need to uh i need to really really make sure i get uh, the army done simply very with a very simple scheme so all the horses in this set will be of the same color um all the shields will be of the same color so i'm gonna have to choose the same color for each of the different uh troop types the terrari the principus and the, the, the hestati this is also kind of great because um it's great with identify them from a distance yes with a little bit of variety it looks much better but i think um when uh, you paint them uniform, they, there will be a, some value to it looking great from a distance um, because it's all uniform. I just like uni I just like the uniform we are painting and uh, it's uh, probably what I'll be going for for, uh, for this proof. right so, so that's pretty much the, uh, all I'm going to say about painting this, this, this figures. When you see the, the end product, you probably see them all done uniform. Um, not done like uh, the, the studio uh, paint scheme, which you can actually follow. But um, hopefully when you have a look at what I've done, um, it would give you some idea uh, or an option of uh, painting things standardized. I understand that some folks enjoy the whole, um, you know, variety bit, but maybe I'm probably speaking to the folks who just want to see what it looks like um, when everything is standardized to compare. Yeah, so that's the my notes on the uh, on painting. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm going to talk about this uh, assembly problem for a bit. Now, if you check this bit over here, as you can see, there's a bit of a notch. Uh, it doesn't fit too well, so the uh, the whole uh, block does not look really really good. I mean, I should have dry fitted this earlier, but. Uh, Let's be honest, I was pretty excited, so it looks kind of bizarre. You can actually see the top part of the um, that bit over there. So, what I think is better is if you were to uh, remove um, maybe the um, the back tab, the tabs, and you remove the back tabs, the back tabs, it will look much cleaner. Let me just show you what I mean. All right, so this is what it looked like. It looks like lined up, right? Like. Much, much neater but uh, it doesn't actually fit the uh, slots in the base so what i do recommend is um well um 
again keeping the back of the tab and putting it in that's what i'll be doing for mine so uh if you have a problem and uh, you feel like you want to uh, you know uh, make it look neat and like this uh, clip out the, the tabs at the back and everything should be fine that's what i'll be doing for this one in case you're wondering i also need to finish painting this bit right there hopefully next time you see this it will look, look much much better so yeah all right so the first base we're going to look at is the stati and this one was predominantly uh red i used the valio express color um, velvet red for this one a bit darker than the usual pure red or lighter red i simply like uh, the deep color and i wanted to go for something deeper um for this particular uh, block of troops the skin color used the um, army uh, army painters ruby skin uh the whole figure will give was given a wash uh with flash wash and soft wash uh in different places the because i spray painted zenithal so it was easier to put on the uh, valio express colors i was this is my first time using valio express and i must say i was very very impressed um with the color and i've got i got a feeling i'll be using a lot more of this the next batch of uh troops i did was uh the uh prin principes principes and uh this one i went with a uh, a much more lighter color um even for the metallics at the back i i used a uh, shining silver instead of a more darker uh plate mail which i would have usually done I wanted this one to be slightly brighter of the uh, three um, blocks of infantry and I think it did it. The uh, shields are done with a uh, uniform grey from Army Painter and um, I also washed this with a uh, uh, soft tone just for that nice shade that I was trying to go for. Then uh, I did the Triari. Now the Triari according to the uh, studio colors was more gold and uh it looked like it had a lot of like uh, different designs on it i imagine that i'll be painting a lot of these at some point so i wanted a color scheme that was uh pretty simple uh yet attractive so what i did was uh i painted the shield uh with a uh, weapon bronze and uh, i gave it a wash of uh, army painter red tone and then i highlighted it again with uh, some uh bronze uh weapon weapon bronze and then a further highlight with a bit of gold just to let things pop i wanted these to look like the veterans that they are um and i think i think it turned out quite nicely next up we're going to look at the um the light cavalry these ones were were nice to paint they were simple enough but uh the head gear i thought was quite strange um the figure itself didn't have much detail for me to work with but uh whatever detail it had it was well defined which made it easier to paint um yeah and uh with for the head headgear i also went with the uh, some bronze for the, for the headgear now this frame also gives you only two uh, heavy cavalry uh figures which i thought was kind of strange because uh you know a full base would need five um but later you know upon reading the rule book you know you, you understand why they did this this way 25 percent of the army is a uh, cavalry after all so i understood that i guess the uh detail on this figure is quite nice the cape uh looks well quite dynamic and uh the figure looks very very nice i, I like painting this the uh the heavy infantry more than the light infantry because there seems to be more detail on the uh on the heavy infantry next up uh the other belites or the or the skirmishers um they are pretty much nice to paint because the details are really really good and actually overall the details for the hail caesar figures are very 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 good they they uh, make it easier for you to paint and if you're using the uh, speed paint method um i think uh the detail will help they're pretty much uh nice nice design nice nice poses the the two guys with the uh with the wolf pelt uh, was a, a bit of a curiosity to paint because i tried to find where the faces were but apart from that 
yeah, very nice base. Finally, the commander of the sprue. And uh, I like painting this one simply because uh, it offered me enough detail for me to go in and not have to worry too much about, you know, um, figuring out where things are. Because I must say, the, uh, the figure has enough detail for you to paint. Very, very nice to do. Um, and, you know, I'm, I can't wait to paint the uh, overall general figure because if the NCOs are this good, you know, you can only imagine what the, uh, the main generals are going to look like. Right, so that's pretty much it. That is the whole army, as you can see here. They look really, really nice. Uh, I used Army Painter uh, basing for uh, the base, pretty much. Um, simply, I put a brown uh, brown base on it, and then I sprinkle a little bit of like uh, green tuff, just for effect, just for color. I like how it turned out, actually. And now, uh, on the plus side, on the pros, let's talk about the pros. The... Uh, the frame that I got was a very nice frame. And the only reason I chose this frame was because it had the uh, the new tree rank infantry for it, uh, for me to feature in this video. Um, but I was also very impressed with the uh, the, the sculpts that um, this frame had. Now, what was the cons for this uh, frame is pretty much how the uh, cavalry was allocated. Um, there could have been a better way to do this, I, I think. But um, having only two bases uh, of light infantry, uh, light cavalry, and two bases of heavy cavalry uh, was a bit of a curveball uh, that I only figured out much, much later in the painting process. But apart from that, um, a very simple uh, army to, to paint if you're going to paint Romans. I can only imagine what it's going to be like to paint uh, the Carthaginians. Uh, rank and fire was already, a, was already a, a headache. Now this whole army took, uh, this whole frame took pretty much 12 hours of uh, painting time. Of course, I must say that uh, uh, this also included um, drying time for the quick shade and drying time for the bases itself. So 12 hours is not bad for a frame, which basically means if I, if I keep at it, um, the amount of frames in the box, 15 frames, gives you an idea of how long it'll take to complete, complete uh, the whole um skip your army i think that's how that's how many how much there is um but if you uh to put more detail on it and uh, work with the decals um i can imagine 24 hours maybe uh, 30 hours per base but i also kept the uh, painting simple and the color scheme simple as for me to to uh, rush through this just to show you what they look like yeah so that's it the uh, hail caesar the epic hail caesar uh, free frame from my uh, game shirt. I hope you uh, like the video. Uh, show some support with a like and subscribe, and uh, don't forget to enjoy painting this video.